How do? My name is Alvin Smith. Alvin R. Smith. I reckon I've been asked to talk to you today because I was part of a group of eight men that God used to spark a revival in north central Pennsylvania and on up into New York State. We were just farmers up there in Bradford County near Mount Pisgah. But we told the Lord, if you could use us, you use us. And Lord, did he, he call us? My goodness. It was back in 1886, it was. Lert Ballard's wife, Martha, she decided she wasn't saved. So she prayed about it. And the Lord touched her and saved her. Well, that wasn't enough. That was the start. Because once Martha was saved, she wanted Lert to be saved. And she wanted her kids to be saved and her family, and all her relatives, and her neighbors. And so she commenced to pray him. The eight of us became known as the Mount Pisgah Praying Band, I guess because we was good prayers. We led some revivals and word spread, and the Tioga County Sunday School group wanted to have a revival. So they contacted us and asked us to come on over, over to Nelson, PA, there at Beecher Island. So we went over there for five days, and 50 people were saved. 50, mind you. Well, on the way home, we sat around under a spreading elm tree, and we pledged ourselves to the Lord. We said, when we're not farming, you use us. And he did. And we began to go out and have revivals. The portrayal you just saw was done by Richard DeMart. He is based out of St. Paul Calvary United Methodist Church, but he is also a local licensed pastor in the nearby area. Thank you for giving us a little bit of a taste of the portrayals that you do. Um, how did you hear about Alvin Smith and know that you wanted to act out his revival services? I was approached by my district superintendent, Beth Jones, and she knew of, of my previous acting escapades <laughs> and asked me if I would be interested in developing a monologue uh, to present it at the LEAP, which is involving laity in the Williamsport District. And how did she hear about him? Um, I had never heard of him before personally, but it's a neat story. She had a newspaper article uh, that was written about the Mount Pisgah Praying Band, and that's what she gave me to draw from to develop the monologue. Very neat. Um, you had said you do have some more acting experience. How do you think that acting out stories like that help people to understand their faith? Well, I think the fact that they can visualize it through a drama. Um, we live in a culture that's visual, that has reasonably short attention spans. Television has helped develop that. And so uh, a short play or a short monologue holds their attention. And I think they can identify a little bit more with it because if it's a, a longer story, um, then they, they do tend to lose interest and look around. I agree that it's a neat way to bring stories like that alive and just capture people's attention. Um, where do you uh, do these portrayals? Are they mostly in churches or what kind? where do you do them? We have three LEAP presentations in the Williamsport District and they are designed to get laity re-involved in activities within the district and going out and, and looking for uh, souls to save getting people involved, getting them to church, or getting them more involved in church. And so far I have done this at those three, but I've also been invited to do Alvin's portrayal in a few isolated churches as well. So it's, it's snowballing into more activity. Very neat. Are there any other acting experiences that you do within the church that's not the Alvin Smith portrayal? Yes, here at St. Paul Calvary we have a, a yearly dinner theater and I am on stage for that. And then I have some acting experience as well uh, down in the Blue Ridge Theater group uh, just outside Gettysburg. Very neat. And um, what are some feedback that you get from the people at the church at the dinner theaters? Well, they look forward to them each year and want to know if we're going to do another play and when can they get tickets. And they usually ask that the night of the performance. After it's over, they want, they want another one right away. Um, 
they're they're valuable because it allows the group to come together to have a nice evening out to have a pleasant dinner but it also is a positive message in the plays and the camaraderie of the actors is just phenomenal uh, we have people that would like to be involved in the plays and it's al almost a waiting list to get involved in the plays at St. Paul Calvary. Well, thank you so much for sharing your experience of how acting really does help to bring stories alive. And if you would like to learn more about how your church could get involved with acting um, or even about Alvin Smith, you can check out my Facebook page at Susquehanna Express. <laughs>